as part of Project Community. 12 News is partnering with No Studios and every week right here on 12 News at 11, we're going to bring you an in-depth conversation showcasing Milwaukee artists, showcasing the city's activism. And today we start, we start with Courtier House and spoken word poetry. We know how movies are made, how sleight of hand magic is meant to dazzle children, know about beat progression and modulation so the music drones on often to predictable conclusions. A lot to get to here, but right now I'm joined by Beth Ridley. Beth, thank you so much for joining us. And right now you're live at No Studios for us here in Milwaukee. And before we get to the spoken word, tell us a little bit about what No Studios is and how it began. Hi, Deanna. We're really excited to be here. So No Studios, I like to describe it as a social club for artists, creatives, and entrepreneurs. It's an open space that's open to the community. Anyone can come. It's vibrant. It's diverse. And you are sure to be inspired and meet some really interesting people while you're here. That sounds so exciting, Beth. And we really want to get to know everyone who's involved with Courtier House. And I know that you have a couple guests there with us. Do you mind introducing them to us? I do. Okay, so I have Jeff McAllister and Bobby Drake. And uh, like you said, they're with Courtier House, which is this really exciting PR and event production company. And they do a really cool spoken word event here at No Studios every Thursday night in the Rooftop Lounge. Amazing. And Beth, you know, this is something like when we think of No Studios, I feel like this is something very unique to come to the city of Milwaukee, right? Yes, it's very unique in the city of Milwaukee, so we're super excited to bring in. And again, it's about um, diversity, it's about coming out and meeting people that you might not meet otherwise and um, engaging in something really fun. I know I asked you this before when we were chatting, but I, we all want to know what your favorite part about No Studios is. Okay, so I've got two favorite parts, if that's okay, <laughs> not just one. <laughs> and it depends on the season. So when the weather is really nice, love the rooftop lounge. Great views of the city, awesome cocktails, great events like Smoke and Word. And then, um, you know, in the fall and the winter, the cafe downstairs, great coffee. And again, open to the public, just drop in and you'll meet so many interesting people. So, Beth, this isn't like, you know, we see so many, um, I guess you can say, spaces open up where you need a membership or you need a specific, I don't know, identification to get in or what have you. This is, like you said, open to the public. What, what do our viewers need to know in case they are interested to hang out there? It's definitely open to the public. So again, you can drop in, grab coffee, have a cocktail upstairs, but there is also membership benefits. So membership for a low monthly price, you can in get you know, a lot of online content, discounts to all the events, and you can hold your own events here too at a discount as well. So definitely benefits to membership, but open to the public. Best way to experience it is just to drop